Hey folks, Odd here with your Outer Worlds. Current time is 2.52 in the morning, uh, June 6, 2013. Sorry, I had a really, really long day helping my cousin move, and I had to do my investigative work. All that stuff, and talk to my source, my contact, and I will have to get that information to you in the next video. So I'm going to take care of this first and go on to that, so if you can just bear with me, a lot to go over today. <coughs> So here we go, folks. Daylight savings. Time to stretch till end of October. Supposedly they're going to change their daylight savings time <coughs> till the end of October. Hmm. Now, hopefully, I wish we never even had daylight savings time, to be quite honest with you. Also, watch these two chicks stab cab driver after punching him in the face in Bronx, New York. This is from Real News Now, it's released um, the 31st, I guess now it's the 1st, but very ridiculously crazy video, you know, if you guys don't like seeing horror scenes, don't watch it, but it just shows you what this world is coming to, you know, it's just crazy. Will carry handgun permits become law in Louisiana? You know, this is actually talking about ricin letters and the NRA and the upcoming Civil War and how, like, it's getting pretty intense. You know, with people making threats about if anybody comes to my house, take my guns, or getting shot in the face. All kinds of different things, folks. The world is extremely unstable right now in so many different as aspects. You know, not just the Earth itself, but, you know, the energies of space around us with these asteroids coming in close and... And then, you know, all these earthquakes, and then, you know, wars, and rumors of wars, and just everything. Energy is just so evil right now that we have to take heed to it. Also, water cannon versus Turkish protesters. Turkey, you know, was trying to, they are protesting to protect the park and all this, and it just got out of hand and became violent, you know. And I uh, just wanted to go ahead and bring that up from Hitchhiker 1947, if you guys want to look into it. Also, Golan Heights villages brace for war as tensions rise between Syria and Israel. From Mary Greenlee, 1954. Very interesting stuff here if you guys want to look into it. You know, talking about how the S-300s have done nothing but just cause more and more tension. And, you know, and it's only a matter of time, really. Also, Amelia Earnhardt's lost plane has been discovered. Yeah, researchers believe that they found her lost plane in the Atlantic, so that'd be pretty awesome to see it brought back up to the surface, don't you think? You know, first, first woman to ever fly across the Atlantic. <clears throat> also, updates. 10 million pounds of explosives at Camp Minden, Louisiana. That is a lot of explosives. I mean, just ridiculous amount. This is logic before authority. If you guys want to check this out, you know, just retarded amount of explosives. You know, what are they planning for? All this military movement, all this other stuff, you know, it's, it's so hard to even figure out. Also, are the nuclear reactors leaks or nuclear reactor leaks a cover-up from Planet X radiation? This is from The End is Near 77, very interesting perspective. You know, the cover-up of the big picture, if you guys want to look into it, you know. I always love The End is Near 77's work, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Also, important, important nuclear update, explosion possible in the St. Louis landfill area. It's getting more and more and more crazy over there in Missouri. You know, the steam has been increasing from the underground fire, and it may be even moving closer to the radioactive waste, which in tail can cause a big, <laughs> huge explosion. So if you guys want to look into that, <laughs> there's atoms in that nuclear waste. Also, Obama to sign UN Firearms Treaty rejected by Senate. So, uh... Obama's to sign the UN Fireballs tr uh, or Firearms Treaty, even though the Senate rejected it. Hmm. Hmm. 
or why? What are you guys up to? You guys want to go ahead and check that out? That's from uh, Tabit Reloaded, 1009. Also, Apocalypse Survival Skills. I went ahead and showed you guys this just in case. You know, we get smacked with a giant rock, or we do have a global coastal event, or you guys get stuck out in the wild or something, you know, and you have to move around. This is from Disclosure Truth, like I just said. Very interesting stuff to learn how to survive if you are stuck on your own. So, very interesting read. I suggest you all watch that video. Also, Superstorm Analysis, Disco Discovery Disclosure as well. Talking about the new Superstorms and everything else that's going on right now in this world and how these storms are becoming so much more powerful, more energized, and how the cloud tops have dropped lower. All kinds of great information here if you guys want to check it out. As you can tell with the massive tornado outbreaks that we've been having, definitely worth the watch it's about 30 minutes long just bear with me here comets planet x objects earth changes and catastrophes on the horizon also discovery disclosure it's about an hour and 13 minutes long if you guys want to look into it title speaks for itself talking about possible cosmic collision the uh, pole shift and all of that great stuff you know and all the crazy weather patterns we're having which is very very interesting if you guys want to check into also here dust dutch sense had on um, radar pulse heart ring, uh, harp rings and scholar squares today showing it around south missouri you know also look down here you know oklahoma was getting hammered you know and dutch sense showed this right before this 31 minutes ago tornado warning st louis missouri right over me you know, this right here is from Tat109, or Tattoot109, reload it. Very, very interesting, you know. And Dutch Sense, <laughs> Dutch Sense did it, now him, and it's getting crazy, folks, I'm telling you. Also, Breaking Tornado, Emergency, Oklahoma City Area, Mecca Electric, showing the possible tornado, which ended up being another huge tornado. I remember, you know, it would be once a year, sometimes there would be years where we wouldn't even get a violent tornado. And if we did, it'd be maybe one, two, three at max. What do we have now? How many F4s and F5s have we had this year? I can't even count anymore. It's, I know it's like over like 12, 13 or something. It's just crazy. Extreme weather, America under attack, massive tornado strikes. There's tornadoes in Joplin, Missouri. More Oklahoma again. All around Oklahoma City. And just everywhere and you know my heart's thoughts and prayers are with all of these people because if you guys don't know you know Mike Bettis and all of them in their storm chasing vehicle well they they're okay but they went to the hospital because their truck was picked up and launched okay launched through the air of some two to four hundred feet or something like that yeah you remember that movie I can't remember the name of it but it was an end of the world movie and showed all these crazy tornadoes tearing up Los Angeles and all this other stuff. Yeah, guess what? That's happening. Movie 2012? Yeah, guess what? It's all happening. Volcanic eruptions and sinkholes. I mean, it's just a matter of time. May 31st, 2013. Amazing UFO sightings at Mount Popo Volcano in Mexico. You guys remember that other, uh, those UFOs also around, um, uh, the Japanese volcano, San Manjaro, or whatever, so I can't pronounce its name. Horrible with those kinds of words, but uh, there was like a portal type thing there. And then now here, what are they, what are these UFOs doing? Are they protecting us, or are they trying to destroy us? Because it's kind of weird, you know, these asteroids and all this stuff. You know, then there's a UFO. There's a UFO. You know, wow, UFO on asteroid in the moon. Caught in NASA's images from Dabu 7. Yeah, are they protecting us because they want chaos here? There's a UFO caught up here too. NASA video, 2,000 foot UFO update. This is from BP Earthwatch. Very interesting information, folks. The solar sail, all that stuff. I'm telling you, something is up. Space-based weapons are being used against ET civilizations. This is from Discover Disclosure, and you know, very interesting if you guys have time to watch it. 
you know, I, I only watched about maybe 10 minutes of it because, you know, I didn't have much time to watch everything. You know, I got home and had about three hours to go through a few th different things. But um, this is talking about, you know, space-based weapons to atta or attacking aliens, you know. And there's been videos on there shoot showing us shooting stuff out from Earth and all this other stuff. Are we deflecting asteroids that way? Now, I'm talking to my source right now, and I'm going to give you guys the latest on that info. Dark Star, Vulcan, and Earth ch Cataclysms haven't checked this out yet, but it's talking about the Dark Star and all this other different stuff, so um, I figured I'd bring this up for you guys. It's about another hour and 18 minutes. If you, one of you guys are interested in reading on this, you know, also, danger, alert danger, major earthquake time. Yes, check this out, Mr. Psycho N. You know, very interesting. I'm about to get into that, too, in here in a second. See, this right here is the picture that they're showing us of the asteroid. It looks like a star, right? Or a planet. Look how round and spherical it is. Remember when DA-14 passed by? It looked like one of these things. Like one of these lines. <laughs> you know, the stars in the background. That's what it looked like. So that's what I'm saying. Something's up, folks. I mean... I just don't even know anymore. And this right here is one of the things I wanted to show you guys that my uh, contact was telling me about. And a friend on my Facebook showed me. Here's the solar sail idea. Chinese researchers plan to use a solar sail to save Earth from asteroid collision. You know, explains what they're trying to do and their attempts. And they say they will be trying it out in 2015. Yeah, well, guess what? They already tried it out. And here's AMS. Let me show you guys this. All right, so here we go. Look at that. May 30th, just yesterday night, there was 225 fireball reports. Maryland, Kentucky, Indiana, Michigan, North Carolina, West Virginia, Virginia, and Delaware. And look at that. 27 some reports, 99 reports on the 26th. You know, almost 200 reports on the 18th. I'm telling you folks, it's the you know the celestial bombardments here. Now, as you can see, U.S. peppered, Australia peppered. You know. Also, this is 2013 EQ3. I went ahead and searched it because uh, MM was talking about this asteroid, how it wasn't on their near Earth object chart. She update all the time, which he says they have not updated since the 27th. If you're watching this video, MM, please let me know if they've updated it because I have not had time to look. So I'd really appreciate it, bro. So there it is Earth distance 0.16 astronomical units, so it is pretty far off, but. A lot of objects coming in right now, folks. So, you know, that's what I'm talking about. 2013-06-01. This is the latest image from Lasco C2. And it is not looking pretty right now on our solar weather. Electrons just went for boom as soon as that coronal hole stream hit. Shooting back up right now. KP index at a high rated storm of 6. Okay. And geomagnetic field. We're currently in a storm. We had a close to X-class flare. I have not had time to look at this yet. But it's a possible X-class or extremely high C9. The largest of activity we've seen in a while. You know, even the Neon Tulsa, you know, boom, look at this. I mean, the GOES 13 HP here. And the GOES 15, you know, out of control. Same thing over here. You know, radiation still low. But it's something to keep an eye on here on cosmic ray density on the neutron and um, muon monitors. Look at this hit. You know, we got some disturbances here, and then boom, look at this hit. I mean, look at this. Some powerful, powerful stuff right here. Cosmic ray density shooting back up. You know, look at all this penetration right here, you know. Uh, look at this gap right here in the muon monitors again after the impact. And Mac Maruna real-time data is shooting back up. Harp right now showing massive plasma penetrations after this hit. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this coronal hole stream because it is a violent one. These are the earthquakes, but this is what I want to show you on live, up our earthquake map. Because we had a 5.3 on Tunga. We also had another big earthquake out in the Pacific, okay, which is not showing on here now. But look at this. 4.9 Atlantic Ocean. 5 Atlantic Ocean. Now we just had another 2.9. Another 4.6 in the Dominican Republic. Here on RSOE, look at all these quakes in the Atlantic right now, not showing up on USGS or any of the other monitors. Even over here in the Pacific. I'm going to get back to this on my next video with the asteroid update on what we need to watch and prepare for, folks. Okay, because it's getting bad right now. And you remember that guy talked about a tsunami in the, in the Atlantic. Okay, look at all these. You know, a lot of stuff not being talked about right now. Of course, it's not going to load right. 
There you go, folks. I'll update you. Much love. God bless.